All right, we are recording. I'm just gonna get right into the screen shares tonight, Inspire Beauty. Thank you guys so much for popping on. Tonight we are talking about getting over your fear of inviting. And the thing is, this whole month, it's all about inviting. Um, because of Team Cup, we've decided to keep our theme, uh, ooh, let me go back, to keep our theme with inviting. So this week we're talking about that fear. Last week, Julianne had a really, really great Zoom for us. If you haven't had a chance to listen, make sure you give that replay a listen. It's money. Um, and it talks about kind of looking at the invite as an opportunity to really inspire, uh, empower, motivate somebody, and just to become uh, like what I like to call a professional friend maker. And so today we're going to talk through the fear of inviting though, because I understand this concept. So tonight my goal, my objective, my heart beat is to help you figure out what's holding you back. Okay. Because you might come to find tonight that there is actually something as the root cause of maybe why you're a little bit fearful. Okay. And then the other aspect that I really hope you'll gain from tonight is taking action over your fear. So what tends to hold a lot of us back is that we'll, we'll allow fear to overtake the action. And then we just put fear on a pedestal. And so tonight, my goal is to get fear off of that pedestal and to put action on the pedestal. Because the more that you take action, guys, the more that fear doesn't stand a chance. So let's dive in. So I want to ask you guys some opening questions <clears throat> as we dive in. Uh, first question, how many times per week? And you can like jot these down in your notebook. I really want you to kind of do an inventory right now of yourself. How many times per week would you say you're posting on your social media about your next challenge, whether it's your challenge group or a free challenge or how your challengers are currently rocking, um, any sort of challenge that you're offering and coaching? the opportunity to become a part of Inspire Beauty. So how many times a week are you, re are you making that a call to action? Um, I'm gonna give you a ballpark, but if you, don't, if you can't say, you know what, Brittany, every week I at least one time post about a challenge group that's going on and invite people to it via a social media post, and I also have one coaching post a week where I invite people to learn more about what I do as a beach body coach. If you can't honestly say yes to both of those at least one time a week, guys, you will not go Emerald and you will not hit success club. And it's, it really boils down to that. Okay. Because you have to be sharing about what you're doing on social media, not just about the challenge though, also about the coaching. Okay. How often are you personally inviting? I love thinking of invitations as like a iceberg, right? Because you see the tip of the iceberg, but what you don't see is how rooted down and, and um, just dense that is in the ocean, okay? That iceberg is huge below the surface and no one sees it. No one sees the conversations that you're having behind the scenes. That's why your trackers are so important because that really gives an idea of, am I actually having enough conversations? And so personal invitations, guys, <clears throat> is the bread and butter of getting people into your challenge groups or into the coaching opportunity. And I love what Kaylee shared with us, um, I think it was on our Diamond Mentorship group page, but she shared with us, and I hope you don't mind, Kaylee, that I'm, I'm gonna, uh, that I'm gonna share this right now, um, but she had a message where she reached out and, um, and told, you know, invited somebody to, to her challenge group, and her friend responded with, oh my gosh, I've been watching your posts for a long time, and I just never, you know, knew how to ask you. I'm so glad you asked me. And that whole personal invitation, we have to think about it like that dinner party idea, you guys. Because remember, if I'm posting on social media that I'm having this amazing party on Friday and I'm so excited about the theme of it and everybody that's coming, here's the guest list so far and this and that, there's not a lot of people that are gonna reach out and say, hey, by the way, I didn't see my name on that guest list. Can I be invited? And so when we think about it like a party situation, it makes total sense that most people aren't going to want to invite themselves to the situation. They're going to want you to actually ask them. So when you think about it that way, it takes a little of the edge and the pressure off. Okay. Um, number three, are you showing what you're selling? So are you going through that journey? And I really, I really want you to understand that it all comes down to a story and a journey. 
There's a reason that people trust me, even if I cold message them and say, hey, do you want to be in my challenge group? Because I know if they were to go to my Facebook page and just scroll, they would know Brittany to a T. They would understand me. They would know immediately if we got each other. They would know immediately that my heart, and this is my hope, they would hopefully know immediately that my heart is not to sell something um, and that I simply just want to empower women. And so are you showing what you're selling on your social media? Are you showing it consistently? It's got to be a consistent message. I've witnessed this happen multiple times where, you know, people know each other on social media. Um, you know, like people who know me, they've also seen another one of my, um, not my coaches, but you know, another coach. And they end up going to that coach because they never realized that I was even doing Beachbody. For a long time in my business, people didn't realize that. And so I lost customers or potential coaches because I wasn't really showing what I was selling. Okay. And so that kind of was a gut check for me. Um, and then what value are you providing to your followers? I don't mind when anybody tells me no or they don't have money or anything because you know what? I know in my heart I can still help them. If they don't have money and they really, really, really want help, guys, I got a free group for you. Oh, you don't have money and I, and you, or you don't have time? Awesome. Subscribe to my newsletter so that you can get it once a week. And then whenever you have time to read it, there's great tips in there and recipes and things like that. So I know that I have value beyond that single invitation. So it takes the power away from it because I'm not, it's not all boiling down to whether or not they say yes for me. It's also important to note that marketing has changed. And we as coaches, we work for such an amazing company because our company embraces that. I am seeing a lot of new network marketing companies pop up here and there and, and everywhere. And it almost seems like they're almost out of the loop when it comes to how to go about doing marketing on social media. You become white noise if you're not providing your followers with value. If you're simply telling them that you had your shake today and you're telling them that you did ship shop today, you are providing no value to them and you are now white noise in their newsfeed because seven other people are also doing ship shop and are posting poorly about it, and 10 other people are drinking Shakeology and are also posting poorly about it. And so what makes you any different, right? And so you gotta ask yourself what value. And in terms of marketing, are you embracing the fact that you have to evolve? Sending out hey girl messages is really something we're kind of starting to turn ourselves away from, even though that's something that I um, train you guys on, and I have recently been training you guys on that. But hey girl messages, they don't come without first having some sort of credibility and value. Okay. So, uh, you've got to start figuring out how can you evolve so that you don't just look like you're just trying to get somebody to buy something. So let's talk through that. How to embrace the fear. And I chose the word embrace for a reason. We're not going to, and I also title this getting over your fear because it's not about getting rid of fear or how to get rid of the fear or how to no longer have fear of inviting because the truth of the matter is you will never not have fears in your life. And this particular fear of inviting is a natural reaction to putting yourself out there and being vulnerable and not wanting to feel rejected, right? And so it's a natural fear. That's why, you know, personal development's not a fear of anybody or, you know, pressing play and drinking their shake, <clears throat> being pro proof of the product isn't really a fear of anybody's. It's obvious why this vital behavior, the invite, 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 is a fear. It's because it's the most vulnerable one where we don't just rely on our own behaviors. We have to actually rely on the response of somebody else based on our invite. And so absolutely there's going to be fear, um, but you can embrace it. And so we are going to look at three things tonight that I believe will help you to A, figure out where your fear is coming from and what's holding you back. And B, will be able to kind of embrace the fact that you have that fear, but be able to put action over it anyway. So the first thing is that belief, 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 guys. It is your job, okay, <clears throat> to post daily. So showing up, showing up to your business means that you post daily as your journey unfolds. And it's so cool to watch a journey unfold because it's almost like people get to know me. 
right? Like there's this season of my life where there was a season of my life where I was a teacher and I was a coach. And then everybody got to watch me leave teaching. And then everybody got to watch me move away to California. And then people got to watch me transition away from teaching colored art. And people got to witness uh, me forming a family. And then now we've got Frankie and people get to be a part of my journey as it unfolds. And so that's all woven in with Beachbody, but Beachbody is, I'm able to put Beachbody into all of those things in some way, shape or form. So it is your job guys to be showing up to posting daily. And when I say posting daily, I do not mean we've got to, got to, got to get out of the, um, the stock images. This is my shake. This was my sweaty selfie. Guys, everyone's posting their sweaty selfie. Everyone's posting their shake. And so you're not going to stand out. And when you don't stand out in the newsfeed and you don't get traction, you're going to start losing belief in yourself. And so help yourself out by standing out in the crowd. Becca is doing a phenomenal job right now, guys, of posting on social media. And so if you need some ideas of like, how do you post from your heart or how do you share your journey? How do you share Go to Becca's page, like literally just go to her page or message her and talk to her. Becca, if you want to comment with some of the things that are helping you in your journey with that right now, that'd be awesome. But guys, you've got to post daily as the journey unfolds. Not every day is going to be a holiday, right? Every day is different. Some days you wake up and you're not feeling it. Some days you are. And so you have to show up to that journey. Okay. It's time for a little tough love. I love you guys all, but I'm going to get a little tough on you. If you do not have a transformation of any sort, mind, body, spirit, because of this business, if you don't have a transformation that right now you could straight up, like without even thinking, you could type in the comments or in the chat and bam, fire it off to me. If you don't have that transformation, you are lacking belief. And I say this because I, I lived and breathed that myself in this business. I didn't press play on a workout program forever. So I didn't believe in them. I didn't believe in squat because I didn't actually have a transformation. And until I actually got serious about my personal development, I didn't have an inner transformation, right? Until I got serious. And it wasn't until I started to get serious about coaching and running challenge groups and hitting success club and growing a team that I had any sort of financial transformation. But now I do. And so I'm able to talk through that stuff and I'm able to believe like belief beyond anything that this that these products work, that this business works, and that this company is outstanding and supports its coaches like nothing I've ever seen. And so, like there's, people ask me, you know, Brittany, what, what do you, where do you see yourself after this? And it's like, I don't see an after this. There is no plan B for me. This is what I love doing. And so, um, and I'm not saying that this has to be your only, your do all end all. What I'm saying though, is that you have to start forming belief around this company right? And that comes through transformations, internal, external. And if you haven't hit SC or signed a coach, this is again, tough love guys. But if you haven't hit SC, you haven't signed a coach and you've been a coach for more than a month. And in your, and, and in this whole month, you haven't done either of those. You're lacking belief somewhere. And that's why I said my, one of my object, objectives tonight is I want you to find out what's holding you back. Are you all in or do you just have one foot in the water and the other one out? I think the coolest part about Summit was getting to watch those ladies' belief change in the business because they got to witness what was really possible. And so <laughs> if you weren't at Summit, um, another way to, to be able to plug yourself into that is to, to be active on our team page. Actively go to Super Saturdays when they're in your neighborhood or not even in your neighborhood, drive an hour or two and get to it. Um, sign up for Summit. Uh, let's see, what else? Join, make sure you're involved in challenge groups. Make sure you're involved in team trainings. All of these things, when you start to disconnect, you start to disconnect your belief as well, okay? It all plays together. And so if you're disconnecting from challenge, <coughs> excuse me, challenge groups or training groups or our team page and you're not active. And when I say active, I don't mean commenting below on a, on a picture. I mean, like, are you sharing with us as if you ran our team page? Are you on there trying to add value to our lives as coaches on Inspire Beauty? Guys, products on a shelf or a counter will never develop belief, okay? You have to use them and transform them. And that applies to Inspire Beauty. If you just sit back and you watch Inspire Beauty unfold, 
and you aren't using Inspire Beauty, if you're just a wallflower on Inspire Beauty, it's not going to transform you the way it would if you got in there in the trenches. Same thing for personal development. If you're just buying the book, but you're not really like embracing that book, if it sits on the shelf, it's not transforming you. Okay. And that belief, you guys, it begins with you. Okay. If you lack belief, you must. So one of the things, if you're lacking belief in in this right now, and I believe that this is the root of a lot of fear of inviting, is that you don't truly have a conviction, whether it's about the, the coaching opportunity or about the challenge group aspect of things. If you don't have that deep conviction that this works, and sometimes you can't see that it works until you actually have your own clients and you actually have your own coaches and you actually, so sometimes it's like you have to kind of fake it till you make it in a sense. Like I, I, belief is, is also based on faith of the unseen. I can't see that I'm going to be a five-star coach. I can't see that I'm on that stage, but that's what I'm working for. Right. And so when you start to have that inner faith in the unseen and you believe guys, it's a whole lot easier to send those invites because you have nothing to prove. You're not begging people to join at all because whether or not they join, um, it doesn't matter because you still love it and you still believe in it. If you lack belief, guys, you have to be pouring into personal development in our community. Again, like I said, when I see people like pulling away from groups, that's when I know they're lacking belief in themselves, belief in what we're doing. And the next step for that usually is somebody throwing in the towel and say, this doesn't work for me. No, instead of running from it, embrace it. If there is a barrier standing in your way, guys, you have to understand that no one can break that down for you. And I think that's the hardest part about being um, a mentor for coaches is that I can't make you believe the only thing I can do is encourage you to join us and, and link arms with us and be present and just stick it out until maybe that day comes because that day did not start on day one for me. I was gung ho that I joined this thing, but I didn't have full belief in it. Okay. It took me a while, but I stuck it out until I figured that out. Um, and the other thing guys too, is that we all have the same tools. So it's not about having resources or not having resources in order to be able to believe and do this. It's that you have to use them, right? Okay, so the same thing. Even our resources, if we're sitting, if they're sitting on the shelf or the counter, it's not going to help us um, to develop that belief. The next thing is that we have to see, um, not belief. I got to get off belief. <laughs> we have to see <coughs> fear as normal. It is normal. Everyone has had to face this particular fear. Everyone who's a beach body coach from the top coach all the way down to whoever just signed up today, right? Um, they all have to face this fear at some point. Everyone is going to have to hit send at some point. Everyone is going to hear somebody say no at some point. Everyone's going to hear somebody give them the runaround for months at some point and then never buy anything. Everyone's going to have those same things. You're not alone in that. It's normal. Okay, it's part of the process. Remember the coffee analogy. If I'm at a restaurant and I'm the waitress and I go over and I ask you if you want coffee and that person says, no, thank you, I don't want any coffee, that doesn't mean they hate me and I should quit my job because I suck. That just means that person does not want coffee with this particular meal. And so I'm going to go to the next table and I'm going to ask them if they want coffee, right? I'm not going to go in the back and suck my thumb, right? Like as much as I want to and like cry. I'm not because it's just coffee, right? Same thing applies. It's just a challenge group right? It's not the end of the world. But here's the deal. Um, knowing your why, having a deep rooted why, those people who know it and it's deeply rooted in them will do those hard things anyway. If I know why it's important for me to invite people, it's not so bad. If I know what this business can do in terms of the team, right? In terms of uh, the coach opportunity in terms of financial, you know, fun money or this or that guys, if you know why you're doing it, it's not hard. It's just part of the process, right? Everything that you do in life will have something involved in it that you just don't love doing, but you have to do anyway. So number three is do it anyway. The only reason it's so painful right now to some of you is because it's brand new or it's so it's painful to some of you because you've made it painful for such a long period of time and you've put it again on this pedestal rather than putting action on the pedestal. Okay. 
guys, it's, here's the deal. This is where I, I have my confidence built and rooted. If they say no to me, my value, my worth, my success of the day does not rely on whether they say yes or no. If they say no to my group, my group will still run. My group will still run and they will watch it run. And then they will watch me start another group and I will return back to them and remind them that they still have a spot in my group if they want it. And then when they say no again, they're gonna watch my group run again. And they're gonna watch me work out again. And they're gonna watch my journey unfold. And they're gonna watch bad days and great days. And they're gonna watch it all transform, you guys. The thing is, when you don't do it, when you stop, when you just pull away and you retreat, you're validating their no. Everyone that says no to me, I will not validate. I will not let them be validated for why they said no. Because I believe there's a space for every woman in our community and in our team to some level, in whatever capacity they need us, right? I wrote this down, and this is something um, that I want to share. Uh, this is totally off script. Ha! <laughs> but this is important to me. Um, this weekend at church, I was sitting there, and I journal at church, and I write lots of notes because it's just my jam. But he said something, uh, the pastor said something this weekend that it, it really stopped me in my shoes. And I was like, okay, I, I stopped listening to him and I, I did a whole page. Um, and I wanted to read it to you guys because it's important. <clears throat> and he said, he was talking about joy in life. And sometimes when people, um, you know, like when you anticipate something, like you're anticipating a vacation, we have joy or we anticipate the, you know, um, I don't know, you're buying a new dog and you're so excited because you're getting a new dog, right? And so you have this anticipation of something that's coming to put a pep in your step. Um, but a lot of times, um, when we lack purpose, it robs joy in our life too. And he said that it's not, he said this exact line, he was going through a bunch of different things, but he said, it's not about a product. And that's where I stopped. Cause I was like, wow, how right it isn't about a product. It's not about a product. And I want to tell you what I wrote here. So I wrote down women who feel, and I just started pouring my heart out on paper of things that I felt in my life that I don't want other women to feel. Um, because I know how, how hard and heavy it is to feel that way. And I'll probably cry. So I wrote women who feel lonely, afraid, worthless, not enough, too much. Women who feel like they need to prove women who feel like they need to strive, but yet never measure up women who feel depressed, left out, fear driven, Women who are so tight gripped, they've got their fists just, they're so controlling over everything because they're so afraid of not having control. Um, women who feel angry, betrayed, hurt, wronged, used and useless, dumped, undervalued, underappreciated, anxious, alone. And then I wrote, Inspire Beauty is for you. And that's how I feel. That's how I feel, guys. That is my deep, deep burning, like, why in my heart. So when I message somebody, and I talk about that on social media, and you know for a fact, after reading that to you guys, I'm obviously going to talk somewhat about that on social media in the next couple weeks um, and let that unfold in my, in my journey. But you've got to, people have to know, first of all, what it means to you. But if you know what it means to you, then you can do it anyway, right? You can do those hard things because uh, you've got that why, you've got that conviction. And so regardless of what they say today, right now, in their current situation in life, maybe they can't see out of what's in front of them, right? So it's our job to help them see that they can get past whatever's in front of them and that there is a space and a place for them when they're ready, right? That takes the fear away from it for me. Last part is following a script, guys. I know the Hey Girl messages are kind of like, they're starting to whatever, but you know what? If you don't have any success flow points, you've never signed a coach, and, uh, and you just feel like you're failing in this business, quote, unquote, unquote um, you need to just rip the Band-Aid, follow a script, and then walk away. Like, I'm serious. When I send my messages out and I'm having one of those days where I just don't feel like doing it and I'm a little bit nervous about it and I just, it's like, something I'm like putting off forever, I just hit send, 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 send. I close my laptop and I walk away and I don't check Facebook. I don't 
check my messages. I just leave it. Maybe an hour later, I'll come back and check, right? But walk away. Like you don't have to stand, like sit there and be like, what are they gonna say? What are they, just follow script, rip the bandaid, hit send, walk away, okay? Last part, guys, is know that you can change a life. Know that you can change a life. Um, remember, again, what's on the other side of that invite. Like I just told you guys, on the other side of my invite is a place for women who are lonely, afraid, worthless, right? Feeling left out, feeling angry, hurt, feeling like they've been dumped or undervalued, feeling alone and useless, guys, feeling like they lack a purpose and a direction. Those are the people that I can change their lives with this opportunity, right? I can't change their lives, but I can offer them something that has the power to change their life, whether it's in a physical way, an emotional way, whatever, right? In all facets. So remember, what's your goal, guys? Is your goal to just, when you go to message somebody, when you're getting ready to hit send and invite somebody, is your ultimate goal that you just wanna sell a challenge pack? Or is it that you really wanted to help someone and you believe that if they purchase this challenge pack, you can truly change their life? If it's the first one, of course, you're going to have fear when you go to invite. Absolutely. It's skeezy and sleazy and yucky. Um, but if it's the second one and you truly believe that you can really help someone and that our team, our challenge groups that we offer can change their life and transform them, then who cares? It takes the fear away, right? This is a relationship business. So you've got to be ready to build relationships. So it, it, it really won't come down to the cold invite. Sometimes it will, and, and brace yourselves because this is coming here in a second, but sometimes it's gonna come down to a cold invite, absolutely. Um, sorry, I think it's gonna tell me 10 minutes in like two seconds. <clears throat> um, sometimes it'll come down to that cold invite, but most of the time, you're gonna build relationships with people, you guys. You're gonna be building relationships with people. And so, again, it goes back to that goal. Is your goal to sell a challenge pack or is it to help somebody? If it's to help somebody, you're going to get to know them. You're going to comment on how their life is going. You're going to, there's a reason why, you know, like they were joking in our, our page the other day about how we play this fun game in the diamond mentorship group where we did two truths and a lie. And I'm not bragging right now, but I kind of got everybody's correct. And I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, um, one of the coolest things, and this is what I love the most about this business, is that it doesn't matter where you fit in on our team, I know you. I know a lot about you. Not only because I listen to you, but I read about your lives. I see you on social media. Um, I, I know what makes your heart beat. I've spent time on Zooms with you or on the phone with you or on Face, FaceTime with you or whatever. Um, I build relationships with all of you guys on this team. And so, that, and that doesn't happen by accident because my intention was not to just get you on this team because I just need you on this team. I could care less. I just want to help you. I want you to be in a place and a space where you feel like you're finally worth something. And so building those relationships is so important for me. It doesn't matter if the person says no today. If I'm building a relationship, I know for a fact that at some point our lives will cross, our paths will cross, and our lives will be connected because at some point one of us will need something again from one another, whether I need something from that person or vice versa, right? The bulk of your work happens in private messages. We talked about that at the beginning, guys. It seriously does though, okay? So that gut check question, how often are you personally inviting? If you are not personally inviting like a mad woman right now, <laughs> because it's Team Cup Mo, the reason why we want to do it like mad women right now is because is because next month in September, it will be like, well, I already know how to do that. That was really hard. That was exhausting. I can take it back and I, I can tone it down a little and I can still be successful, right? Um, and so rem remind yourself that right now, yeah, you might be working really hard. You might be really, really exhausted from the work you're putting in. I know I am. Today, I was like, I just need a brain break because my brain was like, blah, 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 blah trying to like talk to all these people. But that's where the work is happening. That's where the magic is happening. And speak from the heart when you reach out to people. Speak from the heart. Talk about how it's changed your life. Speak from the heart in your posting. Guys, are you waiting to fit the part? Like, are you waiting for like, oh, one, you know, I'll, one of these days I'll, I'll be a coach, like, or people will see me as a coach, or do you feel like a fraud? Like, oh, nobody would ever want me as a coach. First of all, heck yeah, they would. I was talking 
to somebody else the other day um, about a coach that, she, you know, she's still really timid about talking to people, but she's lost a lot of weight with these products. And her whole, her whole like hang up right now is that she doesn't think anybody would want to listen to her or follow her because she's still not at her goal weight. But the reality is that's relatable. That's, that's real. You're not a fraud <clears throat> because you lost 20 pounds with this. You lost 20 pounds with this and this changed your life. So now you have the opportunity to share that with somebody else. Right. And so there's no fitting the part. <clears throat> if you're trying to fit the part, you're going to wait your whole life guys. Um, Nobody ever gave me permission to start my own team page. Nobody gave me permission to start running Zooms. In fact, I was laughing at myself today because most of my Zooms for the first year, it was just me and the screen, or sometimes my mom would come on because I think she felt really bad for me. Um, but I recorded them because I knew one day somebody would need those. And I didn't have, and, and I would post on social media, just got off my team call, acting like my team was huge. Guys, I was talking to myself. I just recorded myself talking for 30 minutes. Like I wasn't waiting to fit the part. I just did it. I just did it because I knew that that's what I had to do to get to the next place. Right. When you stop, and I said this before, but again, when you stop, <clears throat> remember you validate why the nose didn't join you. Do not quit. You can do hard things. You guys, um, everybody that quits in this business, they're validating all of their followers. And they make it that much harder for anybody like us that truly is really trying to make an impact and change people's lives, right? Um, because now they have this guard up because they just watched somebody else start some network marketing thing and quit it, right? Don't be that guy. Do not be that guy. So the call to action, and I will give you guys a second to, um, did the 10 minute thing pop up? Hmm. Okay, call to action. I'm going to post this on the team page, but here's your call to action. And this is especially like if you, if you have not been like crushing it with team cup, um, this month and really tracking daily and all this, this is really, 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 really for you. You're going to invite 10 people when we get off this call with this script, and then you're going to close your phone or your computer or whatever. Like you're not even going to check it today. Wait till the morning to check it, but you're going to, you're going to message somebody. And I know, I know guys, we are trying to get rid of the whole just cold, you know, hey girl things. But if you don't have any momentum, you need to create your own momentum right now. And this is the way to do it. <clears throat> okay. So you're going to say, hey, Susie, how was your weekend? I was thinking of you today because I'm prepping to start a new fitness group and wanted to make sure you got a personal invite from me. It's all about progress over perfection. Anyways, I'm not sure if you already have a pretty solid self-care routine, but if not, I'd love to give you all the details. Do you think you would benefit from joining us this month? I would love to have you sweat it out with me. Regardless, let me know, okay? XOXO, your name goes there. 10 people. 10 people. Rip the Band-Aid, shut your laptop when you're done doing it, go to bed, and then wake up tomorrow and just see. See what happened. I'm, just, I'm certain that there's not going to be somebody pounding down your door telling you that you suck. That much is true. You might have unanswered messages. You might have people that say, oh, I actually am doing CrossFit right now. I have that. And then that's when I have, that's the best one too. When they're like, oh, I'm doing CrossFit or, oh, I go to SoulCycle. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. How'd you get into that? And then we start talking about that because I genuinely care about them being healthy, right? I want them to care. I want, I, like, who's to say that a year from now, they don't stop going to CrossFit and they're in dire need for some sort of home workout because their life turned upside down, right? Um, so, just because they say I'm doing this or I'm doing that doesn't mean that you stop loving them. You love them even more and celebrate what they're doing. Oh, I'm actually training for a 10K. You freaking rock, girl. Tell me about it. When are you running that 10K? Where is it? Like, embrace that, right? And so that is it from me. I'm going to stop my share and take some water and read these chats. Hey, Tiffany! I didn't even see you. Hey, girl. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Uh, Rebecca, personal development is something I've learned how to do and it's been huge. It is. That's literally the game changer in my life. That's what started it all for me, honestly, with that internal transformation. And it's still ongoing. Honestly, most of my heartfelt posts come from being overly emotional. <laughs> I love it. I know. Been there. Done that. 
still there. Just notice the differences, your consistency and your health. This journey brings to your life. Acknowledge the difference, good or bad. Reflect on it and share it so someone else doesn't feel alone because someone else has felt it or needs to feel it. Amen, sister. We have two minutes. Does anybody have questions? Anybody um, need to add anything to that? Um, my question with that cold invite, does it have to be cold? <laughs> like, can it be, I like the empowerment ones. I always, like, I obviously had a really good post today. Like, lots of people liked it. So I could do that and just, instead of it just being random. You yeah. know what I mean? Or should I pick people that I don't know? Yeah. No, honestly, the thing is, Becca, you have some great momentum being built right now. So I guess, too, this isn't one size fits all. I guess my message is for that person that's watching this right now that is so overcome with fear that they're just inactive, they're just not doing anything, go do that. Go do it. Get it over with. But if you are, like, you've been very consistent about, you know, having conversations and working to trans, uh, transition them over to the invite, I think you're doing fine with that. Yeah. I don't think, and cold inviting isn't my jam either. Um, but again, I had to start doing that just to say, I'm not going to let this fear overtake me, right? I'm not going to let this thing have a grip on me and stop me from my potential. Yeah. All right. It says less than a minute, ladies. I love you. Um, thank you for being on live with me. If you have questions, you can take them to the team page. I am going to end our meeting and stop our recording. Have a great night, guys.